Welcome to the Nurse Practitioner Skills Labs. What we're going to cover in this presentation is what are the NP Skills Labs, how do they work, how do you get started, and how do you get help. The NP Skills Labs, which can be seen at InsightVR.com, include labs for intubation, arterial line, central line, thoracentesis, paracentesis, and chest tube. These labs are immersive learning experiences where you're going to work in the guided expert and exam modes to complete the lab protocols. So in the guided mode, you're going to be given help that's going to indicate the next step, what to pick up, where to put things, how to move, what the expectation is for that step in the protocol, includes a checklist that shows each objective for the protocol. And the idea is that you do the exam mode as often as you like until you're completely comfortable. Then you proceed on to the next level of difficulty, which is the expert mode, where all of those ghosts and hints go away, and then you have to be able to complete the protocol from memory. Lastly, you indicate your confidence in your competency for this skill by taking the exam mode. And the exam mode is essentially an expert mode for score. And that exam mode is going to be followed by a brief exit survey where you give your faculty feedback about how you felt about that experience. So we're going to take a look at what you're going to be tracking for your progress and what kind of support is entailed. So for tracking your progress, what you will know is, by looking in the analytics, is how many attempts that you've made for all the labs, what's your overall mastery, how many sessions have you attempted, and what was the elapsed time that you spent in each experience. For each individual lab, you'll have feedback on how many times you attempted that particular lab in the guided mode, and how many times you attempted that in the expert mode. You'll know what the elapsed time was, for each individual lab, as well as the mastery for each individual lab and errors that you made in each individual lab. So let's take a look at getting started. There are five basic steps. First, we're going to set up. Then we're going to log in. Then you're going to install. Then you will pair and then you will use. So step one is purchase and set up your Oculus Quest 2. Step two is log into your class in the Insight VR system. Step three is download and install the NP Skills Labs app on your Oculus Quest 2. Step four is pair your Oculus Quest 2 headset with your profile on the Insight VR system. Step five is use the NP Skills Lab on your Oculus Quest 2. So these are steps that are required to get started. Once these are set up, once you're started, you don't have to repeat these. Again, the process is set up, log in, install, pair, and then use. Set up. The first thing to do is to buy an Oculus Quest 2. So the Oculus Quest 2 can be purchased from Oculus.com directly from Best Buy, Walmart, or Amazon. Oculus, Best Buy, and Walmart all sell them at the same price, which is $299 for the 64 gig model of the Oculus Quest 2, which is the one that we recommend. You need to set up a Facebook account if you don't already have one. A Facebook account is going to be used in order to set up the Oculus Quest 2. So the Facebook account does not use any features of Facebook for you to operate and use your Oculus Quest 2. So if you don't already have a Facebook account, you need to set one up. You don't have to use it for anything. You don't have to share it with anybody. And the Oculus Quest 2 gives you the control features that you need to make sure that you have whatever level of privacy you're comfortable with for that Facebook account. So this is merely a formality that's going to be required in order to be able to use Oculus is owned by Facebook, and they're requiring the Facebook account login to be able to unify their, their systems together. 
So you'll set up a Facebook account if you don't already have one. You're going to need to know what that email address is that you use to log into that Facebook account. So keep that handy. Know your Facebook account email address that you use to make the account. Then purchase your quest. So the quests are readily in supply now. So you can purchase those from Oculus or Best Buy or Walmart. Um, it'll, it will come uh, quickly. And then you're going to go through the setup. So you're going to use a phone to set up your quest. It, you can do, do it with an Android phone or with an iOS, with an Apple phone. And what you're going to do is you're going to download the application from either um, the Apple uh, App Store or from Google Play. And you're going to use that app to set up your quest. You only have to do this once. So the steps for that tutorial are provided by Oculus. And there's links here on the slide for the setup tutorial and a supplementary video that walks you through this step by step. When you download the app onto your phone, that app is going to go step by step through the procedure to get set up. So it has a wizard that's very simple and easy to follow and just follow each of those steps on your phone to go through the process of setting up your quest. So again, the setup uh, step of these five uh, parts of the procedure is make your Facebook account and remember that email that you used and then purchase your quest and then go through the setup tutorial and watch the video if that's needed. Once you have your Oculus Quest set up, then you're going to need to log into the Insight VR system. So this list that's here on the slide is step by step. This is everything that's going to happen in order to be able to do that, which is uh, sounds a little more complicated um, than it actually is. So what's going to happen is you're going to receive an email from your faculty member, and it's going to have a class link in it. And you'll click on that link, step two, and that's going to bring you to the Insight VR system, and you're going to create a profile. Step three is after you've done that, then you're going to receive an email from the Insight VR system that verifies that that's you. And you'll click on that, and uh, when you do the verification, then you're going to return back to the class and there's going to be a big sign up button that you'll see in the page. You'll click on that sign up button. That's going to let the faculty know I've received the message, I've verified that I've created a profile and I have joined the class, I'm waiting. So then you're going to be pending. So you're going to receive a verification that you are pending and then you're going to receive uh, a verification that your faculty member has enrolled you in the class. You don't have to do anything to receive those. Those will come to you automatically. Then you can return to your class page and you can follow the install guide that will show you how to put the NP Skills Lab on your quest and then you can begin using the quest because your license will be connected to your um, quest too. How to install. So the install guide, which is provided here on this um, slide, which is uh, clinicimmersives.com forward slash support forward slash install guide forward slash NP skills. You can keep that link handy if you like. Call, always come back to this presentation and click on that and launch it. And it's also in your class um, page. So you click on that and follow the install guide. And it's going to show you that the first step is to log into your profile on the Oculus website. So you're going to um, get a link that is also on this page, which is the install guide download NP Skills Lab link. This says oculus.com forward slash experiences forward slash quest and then a long number. Click on that link and it's going to take you to this page that you see in the upper right hand corner. You're going to need to log into your profile there and that's in the upper right hand corner where you click on the little symbol of the person and you're going to use your Facebook email address to do that. When you log in, then it's going to give you this uh, button that says free. And when you click on free, that's going to install NP Skills Lab onto your Quest 2. Excuse me. That's going to put the NP Skills Lab in your library. It won't be installed yet. So when you click on the free button, that's going to tell the library on your Quest 2 in your app section that you now own NP Skills Lab and you're ready to install it. 
So then what you'll do is you'll put your Quest headset on, and you can see on the bottom image here on the slide, that's the universal menu on the bottom, the number one with the arrow is pointing to the apps. So you'll click on apps, and then you'll see the apps panel. And as you can see, arrow number two will be pointing to an icon that shows NP Skills Lab, and it will have a little word on it that says install. And you'll click on that, and it will install NP Skills Lab onto your Quest headset. So once you have it installed on your headset and click on it to use it, then it's going to ask you to pair your headset with your class profile on the, in, on the Insight VR system. So to do that, when you click it and launch it, you're going to go into the lobby of NP Skills, and it's going to show you a panel that looks like the one in the bottom right-hand corner, where it says visit clinicimmersives.com forward slash pair and enter this code. So each individual will have their own unique five-digit um, code. And what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your class page in the upper right-hand corner, and you're going to pair that with the uh, profile on the Insight VR system. So as you can see here in the upper right-hand corner, for instance, my name is the one that's being highlighted, you click on that and a small menu drops down where it says pair headset account or log out. So click on pair headset and when you do you're going to get another panel that has five blank boxes and you're going to type the code in there that you received here. So these five digits that you're going to receive here in your Quest headset are going to be the five digits that you're going to use to pair your headset with the Insight VR system. You only have to do this once. Once you've done this that tells the Insight VR system that uh, your profile and this headset all belong to each other in our system. And now you can begin using NP Skills Lab. So to begin using NP Skills Lab, the first thing that you should do is watch the tutorials. There's a tutorial video for each of the labs, and it shows you how to complete the lab sequence in the guided mode. So we strongly suggest that you use this and watch the tutorial video first. Watch the tutorial video as many times as you need to be comfortable with what the steps are and how they're to be performed in each of these labs. So then you should do the guided mode as often as you like. You can do this however many times you like. There's no penalty or benefit from, from doing it fewer times. So more is literally more. The more often you do it in the guided mode, the more comfortable you'll be doing it in the expert mode. When you're ready to an attempt in expert mode, then go back to the lobby, leaving the, the attempt, go back to the lobby and click on expert. So then if you try expert and you're not as comfortable as you thought you were, you can always go back to the lobby and go back to guided mode and you can switch back and forth as often as you want. And you can do expert mode as many times as you like. Lastly, you're going to do a single attempt for score called exam mode. So you'll attempt exam mode, and then you'll go through the procedure, which is essentially an expert mode. So this is an indicator of your level of confidence in your readiness to do this protocol by taking it in exam mode, and then you're going to complete a brief four or five question survey at the end. After you have done the exam mode, you can still come back at any point and you can do the guided mode and expert mode as many times as you like. So what we're trying to encourage everyone to do is to do the both guided and expert modes as many times as you have um, time to, uh, to put toward these. Because the more time that you spend doing these in both modes, the longer you're going to remember these skills. So literally more is more. Again, watch the tutorials first. Do it many times in the guided mode. Do it in the expert mode until you're completely comfortable with the protocol and then take it once in the exam mode and complete the survey when you're done. So in review, what we went over in the getting started part of this presentation is there's basically five steps. Set up, log in, install, pair, and use. So the first step is purchase and set up your quest. Second step is log in to the class in the VR, Insight VR system, which is separate and different from your online 
course system at Purdue Global. Download and install the NP Skills Lab onto your Quest 2. Once you have it downloaded and installed, pair that in your Quest 2 headset with your profile on the Insight VR system. And then lastly, begin using NP Skills Lab on your Oculus Quest 2. Watch the tutorials first. Do guided mode many times. Do the expert mode until you're comfortable and then take it exam mode. Along the way, to help you with any of this, the links that are here that are in the in the presentation are the same links that are available on our support site. So you can use the install guide to uh, go step by step through the install process that's on our support site. The tutorials are on the support site. There's an FAQ with common questions that may arise that you can check to see if there's an answer for any issue that you might be having. Here is the link on this page for the support site. If you need help above and beyond that, please contact us by using this support email in the upper right here, support at insightvr.com. You'll find that if you are um, emailing uh, a support request to us, that's going to be sometime between 7 o'clock and 8, 7 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock in the evening, Eastern Time, that you're going to get a response very quickly to that email. So one of the things that we'd like to um, convey to everybody is that the most effective way for us to support you is by email. Because email allows us to send references to you, send you images, send you passages of text, whatever it is that, that we need to help you get started, um, which is quite a bit more effective than any other mode um, that, that we have uh, available to us. So please, if you need any help, contact us by the support email address and we'll respond to you as quickly as possible.